How do we feel about lights off? Lights off. Do we feel okay about fights that? Fights off. Is it yes? I'm saying yes. I'm, I'm not going to get up anytime soon, so you're just going to have to make sure you have access to a flashlight or something when I need to get up so I don't trip and die. My phone has a flashlight. All right, cool. I mean, it's not, you know, not unseeably dark. What do you guys think of Moe's Burritos? Moe's Burritos? Moe's Burritos. I've never been there because, if, is it Boston? Is that the implication? Doesn't say. Um, if, it's in, if it's in Boston, I don't know why anyone would go anywhere but Anna's. Moe's... Is uh oh M O E apostrophe S. Moe's is a good place to get a burrito when there's nowhere better to get a burrito. <laughs> but isn't that any burrito place? Except for that one in the shady uh, convenience store. That one's really I like those burritos a lot. I have grown to enjoy the smoked burnt taste of their tortillas and the and the super oily hot sauce. That's weird. Um, Kai, are you with me on that? What's up? You come to love the smoked burnt taste of their tortillas and the weird oily hot sauce? I haven't been there in a while, but okay. no, I never really came to love it, but I, yeah, I, I just like that, like, it's a better burrito than most of the places on the Cape, and also the location is just completely okay, absurd hold on. in a way that I'm in love with. Jesus Ball says, burritos are bad, hard shell tacos is where it's at, mm-hmm. and like, basically, can we unmod him? <laughs> yeah, like, who? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are we about? doing giving this person authority? Like, that's nuts. Ooh, you put a screenshot. Oh, wait, no, that's not you, sorry. That's um, what is one state that you have always wanted to visit in the USA? Nowhere. No, I don't want to uh, go anywhere. One state that I've wanted to visit. There's nothing about a place that is exciting to me, I think. Like, like I, mean, I would go to places to visit people, but I would never go somewhere to I, to really enjoy, like, a... And none of the things I like to do have to do with, like, play, I don't know, places. Like, I don't go out and do stuff. California or Texas, I guess. What do you want to do in Texas or California, for that matter? Eat food in Texas. Okay, and what do you want to do in California? I don't know. Go to San Francisco, get a burrito. Okay, okay, you know, now there's a valid thing. I do eat food. Uh, Disappoints says, Keith, come on, National Forests and Parks. That sounds all right, I guess. Yeah, sure. But there's, like, a lot of fucking forests and parks in the state that I'm in already. Um... And there's a ton in the states that I've already been to, like Maine and New Hampshire and Vermont. Yeah. Um, Maine's nice. Maine is nice. Maine can be nice. Maine can be nice. Sometimes Maine is a bit of a jerk. Um, I had one. Sorry. If Keith and Kyle got in a fight, who would win? Note, fight can be physical or verbal. It, I think we're. I think that both of us would win sometimes versus others. Yeah, I don't know. It would be a pretty even match. Uh, that's not a real question. Do do do. How many mini donuts can you fit in Kyle's mouth at once? Let's be reasonable here. I could fit seven mini donuts or mu- or donut holes. Mini, mini donuts, donuts, and it specifically says in Kyle's mouth. In Kyle's oh. mouth, I could fit five mini donuts into Kyle's open maw. Yeah, I could do that. Into Kyle's cavernous... I could definitely fit five mini donuts. No. It's, well, it's not about how many you can fit in. It's how many I can yeah, fit in. Yeah, yeah, exactly, you. exactly. Which I think will be slightly more. Well, they said you had to be reasonable. And I'm being reasonable. And I'm assuming that I don't want you to die. Like, it could be more, but you die, and I don't want that. Courtney says I feel like Keith could be Kyle. Listen, I don't know. It's been previously established that Keith isn't a weak boy. It is. I'm a strong boy. Um, and it's true. Uh, but is, is he a fighter, though? I, I am not a fighter. Although I've been in more fights than I, like, I like think. Like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, I've never fought anybody. And then I'm like, I kind of get saying. This dog is interested in something. She smells food. Um, will y'all eat kangaroo meat? Has, I I know Kyle has eaten kangaroo meat. I have eaten kangaroo meat. Somebody bought 
when I worked at, at Best Buy, one of my coworkers one day brought in exotic jerkies that he had bought from a jerky store, and one of them was kangaroo jerky. We also tried them at Comic Con. You tried them at Comic Con. Comic Con sounds like a place where they have dried kangaroo meat. I don't know. Was it kangaroo or was it something else? I just got really lightheaded. Uh, Kramer says, Keith, how much would it take to get you to visit uh, uh, Georgia? All of the money that it would take to get there and back and that I would miss from work. That amount. There you go. Let's go play Resident Evil. Can you uh, bump it up a bit? The game sound? Keith. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is a weird one. Is that you loud? I think it means you loud. No, you're good. Right, is it, it four, four bars? It's four bars, yeah. Look at this. This is such, so weird. Is this a huge cutscene? Nope. Um, I think you need to go lay down or something, um, okay. and I think you need help. Okay. I just got really, really lightheaded, like, when I almost passed out. Yeah. Well, right. so I'll leave this. So you're going up to bed? I'm definitely going to the couch. I gotta do, I, I, because I need to lay down, that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. But I need your help. Um, Chad is comparing gas prices. I'll say that the, the gas station near my house right now is $1.99. Whoa! That's yeah, pretty it's good. getting low in, in my house. Uh, Kramer says that he got gas for 98 cents today. Dang! Which is ridiculous, but that's in Georgia. So, like, the trade-off is that you have to be in Georgia. Yeah, no thanks. Hold on, I really... I don't want to pass out. I want to lay down. Good night, Nicole. I don't know if I'm going to sleep. Okay. It's happened a couple times when I get really lightheaded and I feel like I'm going to black out. And Good. Feel better then, Nicole. Um, is Nicole okay? Is she dying? She's not dying. She will be okay. Um... I don't have access to that run button thing, so if you want to talk more to my... Here's... Kyle's gone. Kyle's gone. So you guys should go to keithjcarberry.bandcamp.com and buy my album. <laughs> or download it for free. You know, whatever. Um, but... I won't, I won't say that it's good, but I will say that there's a lot of good ideas in it. Other people could say it good. Uh, Clip Art says, Keith, did you lose weight? Because it looks like you did. I did lose weight. I lost almost 50 pounds. Um, Ray Ray says, it's, bit, it, it's a bittersweet moment when I fill up gas for 150 because I know that this is just a result of terrible economic warfare. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Also, good luck, everyone. Um... And he says, I will say that Keith... Oh, oh, Andy, okay. Andy says, I will say that Keith's album is good and I will stand by that. Thank you, Andy. Andy also said, I love the webcam right now because it's literally just Keith's face glowing in the darkness. Um, thank you. It sometimes feels like that in life. Um, Uh, oh, everybody learned that at AP Euro. Yeah, take everybody take AP Euro. It is not a singing album. I might do a singing album eventually, but I have to get over the fact that, that sometimes it just sounds pretentious to write lyrics to things. And I have to get over the fact that you can be pretentious sometimes, and if it's good, people won't notice.
Keith, check the... I can't check the Ask FM. I can only check my own Ask FM, which is ask.fm slash something dumb. I don't have access to the other ask.fm. Yet. I mean, just because Nicole just made it. Um... Or just put questions in the in the chat, and I'll see them. Clippert says, do I want some chocolate milk? <laughs> yeah, you want some chocolate milk. What do you... Do you have... First of all, do you have hot chocolate? Because then you want that. Um, Stemic Shark says that my album is good. Just wanted you to know again. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'd steal some Crush 40 lyrics. That'll be fun. Um... Here's the thing about the album is that the day after I put it out, I wrote another... I decided, like, I should just write some more music. Because I only really started writing, like, on purpose writing songs, like, two months ago. Like, I wrote one over the summer, uh, and then that was the first one that I had written since I was 16. Um, And so I decided to put more effort into it. And then, like, the day after I put it out on there, I was like... The next day, I wrote one that was way better than anything on there, and I'm like, okay, well, I have to just feel enough just so that I can put this out also. Um, Here's the thing about Life Level 5. In June, I wrote... I wrote, and then we, Kyle and I were not satisfied with a Life Level 5 song, and then I rewrote it, and it was fucking great, and then uh, I lost the save file, and then I have never tried again since. Um, which just means that I still have to do it, and I just haven't yet. Um, so. Hey, Kyle. Hey. We're going to do Res Eve. I think this room is starting to smell fucking gross. It's, I smell meatballs still. Uh, I was, uh, for the viewers, I was just saying that I walked in here and I said, I think this room is starting to smell gross, as will happen when people sit in a room for 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Um, Swag Deed wants to know if I can sing. Not, not really. Not in the way that you that you're I'm comfortable saying yes to. Um Kramer, I did not waste money on a saxophone. I bought a clarinet and it was not a waste of money. <coughs> I like the idea of someone calling a clarinet a saxophone. Well I was going to buy a saxophone and they were too expensive. So I got a clarinet. There was like, there's a, a like a whole level of beginner's clarinets that are pretty affordable, and saxophones do not have the pretty affordable part to that. Um, Judd the Studs says, holy shit, I just got here. How long has the stream been going for? We have been going for 10 hours. What is Kyle? What the fuck is Resident Evil? It's Resident Silent Hill without this story. Resident Evil started this gangster shit. Res, this, Re, Resident Evil is what the last two and a half years of what we've been doing are all about. Is what you're saying? I need you to bump up that game sound. Hard. You're sure. Wait, I just heard wait. The guns. Wait. You know what? Don't do that. Okay. Well, next time just, you hear uh, the guns. Test, 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 test. Why can't I hear myself? I can't hear myself either. I haven't been able to since whatever you did with the, um... No, I changed it so we should be able to hear ourselves. Oh. I still don't. Hey. Hey, oh, test, there we test, go. Test. But I, it sounds echoey now. Test. In a way that it didn't before. Maybe it's just the, uh, level is louder. Uh, Fearless Gutter says, Keith, has your blue violin arrived yet? My violin arrived and was 
fucking garbage, and then I scheduled a return for it, and I'm just going to buy a better violin when I have the money for it. I only bought it because it was like $70, marked down from like 150 and it came and it was just like unusably bad. Um, like the tuning pegs would not hold a tune. Like it would not, they would not stay in place. Um, hey, um, hey, can you on XSplit switch to 4x3 main? Thanks. You got it, dude. Thanks, bro. <laughs> no problem. Got your back. I think this shit is way too bright. But if you turn it down, it's going to get scary. Oops. <laughs> Harold Krell says, who's the better comedian, Jeff Dunham or Brian Regan? <laughs> it's Brian Regan. All right. Do you want to, um... I'm hearing a, a buzz. Yeah, don't worry about that. Our shit's turned up pretty loud. No, it's like... <laughs> no, I mean, like, we're... Just don't worry about it. Okay. No, it's gone. Um, I'm hearing on a scale of 1 out of 10, how hype are we for Halo 5? Not very. Like a 5 out of 10. I thought it was a scale of 1 to 5. No, it's a scale of 1 to 10. Did I, I might have misspoken. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say about a 5. I am neither excited nor unexcited for it. Test, 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 test. Yeah, you can totally hear us. The reason we sound echoey yeah, is because we sound echoey because the room's echoey. I don't believe that for a second. All right, are we ready to uh, play Resident Evil? Resident I've been ready. Talk I've been, about Resident Evil? I've been ready since the day I was born. All right. No, I didn't get the green clarinet. I got a black clarinet. The green one didn't come with like extra reeds in a carrying case. Keith, you're talking about clarinets right now. It's not Resident Evil. Well, you're on a menu and you're not playing Resident Evil. I just hit new game. It just what happens when you press new game. <laughs> okay. All right. No, I'm on your side. We're on the same team. What is... Keith? Yeah? Do we like climbing a mountain? Okay. Fulfilling, but takes a lot of work? Like going on a hike, good exercise, not too strenuous. Like like taking a walk, you can relax and enjoy yourself. I like going on a hike. I really like going on a hike. I like going on a hike also. Why is... I guess I like the sort of obfuscation of easy, medium, hard on, on this. But but it did say, how do you like your games? It's, yeah, just the, yeah like, exactly. <laughs> like they refused to commit. <laughs> Well, I don't think they were trying to obfuscate it. I think they were literally just like trying to draw a comparison in case you didn't know what easy, medium, and hard were. Because that... they had it set up like it was a police profile, and and then they gave answers that were like a like like a sort of psych evaluation. And but then Alpha it just was like, how do you like your games? Around the forest zone, situated yeah. in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots. Test, test. Bravo team. Who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There so th this is a remake of the original Resident Evil, by a group of about 10 but it's a pretty significant change. <laughs> the Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter. Why are you typing in the chat? Because you told me to stop talking about clarinets. It's not... Not really what I meant. So well, someone said, why would I ever get a green clarinet? And I was like, because it was silly and cool. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into... A nightmare. Oh no, oh, God. You make fun of this, but like this part of the game in the original was like FMV, and it was the silliest. Oh, that's just silly. That the way that he's holding the gun? No, the the fact that they made it look like a first person shooter. Suffer like G did? That's this game, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, those dogs are scary. 
Y'all nasty. An expert says, I think there's something wrong with those dogs, sad face. <laughs> do you think? Do you think these are the dogs that love that Goku he's running into? Oh, man. <laughs> do they redo the voice acting? Oh, it's completely different. Okay, that's what I think. No, it was all F like... In the original, the helicopter flies away, and a guy reaches his hand up into the sky and goes, No! Don't go! <laughs> it's a pretty amazing. Enter the survival horror. This was the game that invented that term, I think. Yeah? There are only three Stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. I thought Wesker was a bad guy. Well, we didn't know that at, at this point. It's okay. the first game, Keith. What is I just assumed that he started as a bad guy. Why would you be in the cops Majority if you were a bad guy? That's for sure. Hey, Whisker. Uh, they're not Whiskers. cops. They're stars. Jill, no. They're star cops. You don't want to go back out there. I mean, look at that guy. He's obviously a but star. Got to find Cop. What was that? Chris? No. David Duchovny wants to know when we're going to do commentary for Hotel for Dogs. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. Uh, All right. We're going to do it. You two go. I'll secure this area. We're going to do it. Stay sharp. Kyle, will you eventually do commentary on Hotel for Dogs with me? I I can't promise that. I don't. I don't you can't? Know. I'm not sure that I can. What if we that. put it what if we put it as what if we put it as a milestone? <laughs> what if we had it as a milestone? Commentary for Hotel for Dogs. That seems ridiculous. What if we just said at, at 200 patrons we'll do it? We're at 193. No. No? You don't want to do it that bad? You won't take, what, what 94 minutes to do? Let's see, Hotel for Dogs. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? I swear to God, I almost very unironically typed in Hotel Number 4 Dogs. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Hotel run, it is 100 minutes. I hope this is not Chris's blood. Whee! Quick turn. Where is the... Oh. This game looks amazing though, right? This game looks really good. Uh, Ray Day says, I, I don't know how, how much it would mean as a milestone given the Sonic 06 Redux. Oh, that's happening. Sonic 06 Redux is happening. It was more like the Sonic 06 thing was like a joke. Yeah. And then... Well, we were still serious about it. We, we just weren't serious. We just didn't realize that we would hit it 
within like three hours of the marathon. Yeah. So I guess it wasn't like it was a joke like we were never gonna do it. It was a yeah, we but just it was weren't more like to... it, it was more like a silly thing and then like no one was ever like Hey, what about Sonic 06? Yeah. Like still waiting on Sonic 06? I've... It was just kinda like it got pushed back and pushed back and then it was like, Well no one's talked about it. I don't know. Um Well we've talked about it. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff. We do have a lot of stuff. There's... Because the thing is, like, we could do Sonic 06, but it would also take away from the other things we're currently doing. Like, if people are okay with, like, less other episodes, but for Sonic 06, then... Um... Gross. What are you doing? I was itching. Oh, I thought you were, like, reaching for something. I thought you had something weird. (laughs) Why would you think that? I don't know. When the two have run... When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Okay. Oh, and that was, like, you had to add something to make... Are you following this? I was, I was, I'm looking at the screen and I'm not seeing anything. There's a picture of one guy stabbing a guy in the head and the other guy has a short sword that's like not completely stabbing the other guy. Mm -hmm. And then this clock says, uh, when, when the two have run each other through the path to your destiny will open. So like the clock reveals something once we make some kind of change that will make the both people being stabbed in the picture. We have ink ribbons. We've got a typewriter. Everything we need to make a save file. If we sh- everything you need to craft a save. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if we so choose. Um, I think I can take this thing off the fireplace mantle. I will take the emblem. Um. Uh, status screen? People want to know if you're playing with tank controls? I am. Yeah, okay. Like a true hero? Yes, everybody was concerned that maybe you wouldn't be. And by everybody, I mean I saw it like two or three times over the course of the last five minutes. That's funny. Yeah. No, I mean, it's not that I'm like married to tank controls. Like, no, it was made for that. You have to do it. Even I feel like that a little bit. But mainly, I watched um, Dan Reichert and the Giant Bomb Quick Look playing playing with the non-tank controls. Uh-huh. And the thing is that the game was designed that way, so the camera angle shifts constantly. So, like he, you would do, he would be doing these things where he'd run one way, the camera angle would switch, and then the moment he moved his joystick at all, it would kind of like the character would like flip out and start going the wrong direction. Right. You know. Yeah. Like I guess, I guess I could try it briefly. Um, Peyote Punk says, "I'm just so tired of you guys not smoking weed." Listen, man. Me too. Okay. I. Like, you do not. You guys would not want me to smoke weed. Probably it would not, not. Be good probably for anybody. Not. It especially, it would not, first of all, especially me, it, but it would not be fun on a stream. No, probably not. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know if I would be entertaining high on a stream. No. You're, maybe, you're maybe still. if I smoked weed and then, like, drank a Red Bull, then, like, yeah, probably. Because here's the thing, you're barely entertaining, like, you, there's such a tiny window of you being drunk that's entertaining on a stream. Oh, I don't know about that. It's very, because you go from silly to sleepy, really really quick but that's what i'm saying the red bull though like if i'm drinking red bulls to stay i don't even care about no, these I'm stupid gonna... controls it's just, you <laughs> know what says, smoke weed or die <laughs> <laughs> you know what i completely changed my mind the reason i want to play as tank controls is just because that's what you do okay it just makes me feel happy when i do it yeah Um, Gold just says I thought angry, silly, drunk Kyle was is pretty funny. It is pretty funny, but it's just like 
a like even like there's such a small window where it's effective and it's, then he just gets too tired. I'm telling you, I just have to combine it with energy drinks. I think I I think we're forgetting. I'm pretty sure that's what happened with Sonic Adventure. I think we drank a bunch of energy drinks also. I did I was not in a drinking energy drink state. True. I, play I, maybe it was me. Yeah. Killing you guys is drunk Kyle's an asshole and that's hilarious. Kyle yeah. does not need are you even watching this stream? Kyle does not need to be drunk to be an asshole. I'm under a lot of stress. Um. Uh, live stream stuff says the funniest thing I've ever read, which is Dan Reichert is here to give you some literature. <laughs> um. Glorp says, I've actually heard not playing with tank controls makes some of the combat really difficult, if that makes Kyle feel any better. Huh. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. Man, I really like the first two Resident Evil games. What about the like, fourth one? Like a lot. That's the one that everybody loves, right? The well, fourth one? Well, it depends on which one you're talking about. Because Resident Evil 4 is the fifth Resident Evil That's game. the one that I'm talking about. Um... What, is that it, one's okay. It, yeah. Is it is it number five because of Code Veronica? Yeah. Okay. Code Veronica, I've not played a ton of, but I would say uh, it's probably like number three for me. Um, for me, it's like Resident Evil One. Well, I guess I'm excluding this one because I I don't know how I feel about this one. Okay. Because I I only played it like with a total walkthrough, like just doing exactly what it said. Like so, I don't really feel like I've played it. Right. Yeah. Um, but I'd say like. Number one and number two are number one and number two for me, and then like mm -hmm. probably Code Veronica, and then like three and four. I'm not really sure. Um, I just want to go back real quick because David Duchovny says Keith try smoking weed and making music. It maybe it will enhance it. I maybe people don't know this. Uh, I've tried smoking weed two times uh, after years of you know saying like I don't want to do this. It will, I don't think I would like it. The first time I had the sensation of choking to death for about twenty minutes. Uh, and then nothing. And then the second time I cried for three hours and couldn't stop and didn't know why I was crying. Uh, and so I was just like, okay, well, this just is not a thing that yeah, works. Yeah, weed is not for some people. Um, I think the, one of the really crazy things to me about weed is the incredible range of reactions from person to person. Like the way it can just like affect some people completely 180 degrees opposite and stuff. It's pretty weird. Yeah, um, I, I guess that's that's probably every drug, but right. It seems yeah. like weed, especially. Uh, did I tell you about the thing that I learned about about how anytime you're drinking anything, I give you shit about how it's all terrible all the time? And the thing that I learned I might have what? Apparently, some people have an extreme sensitivity to esters, the thing that is in alcohol that like you can taste and. The reason that I think that all alcohol, one, tastes the same, and two, tastes like soap mixed with shit, uh, is because maybe because of that. Really? And that it literally does all taste the same to me, and it's because the taste of esters is overpowering literally everything else. Huh. Yeah. Well, for one thing, I mean, all alcohol tastes incredibly similar and bad. So, like, you're not really that wrong in that way? No, but I mean, like... Un, I mean, when I taste alcohol, it tastes un... Like, it tastes like, oh, no one could mistake this for drinkable. Yeah. Is what, huh. like, like, this is... This is something that tastes like... Like, no one could have ever had enough of it to know that it tastes... To know that it has an effect. <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, man. They gave me a map, Keith. Like... Oh, that's nice. I'm deep in. They gave me a map and it's all over. So, I know if I go down here, there's a zombie. Um, this was uh, something that not didn't really affect me at the time, but I know that um, a kind of cool thing that they did with 
this Resident Evil remake was that like a lot of the most memorable moments of the original game were like scary parts that you know stuff happened that people didn't expect and uh, in this one they did stuff that kind of played with their expectations like I think in the original Resident Evil you go down this hall and there's like a zombie there but in this one you go and there's no zombie you pick up an item you go to leave and the zombies behind you or something like that I use defensive items Mm-hmm. Um, your defensive mode is set to manual. You must press L to use the defensive mode. Hmm. Are there a, are they are there a lot of puzzles in this game? Yeah, there's a shitload of puzzles in this. Game. Is it mostly puzzles or is it mostly fighting? Um, or is it mostly just walking around? It's... I, I guess I would say it's mostly puzzles. It's... it's. I would say there's less combat than Silent Hill 1, definitely. Okay. Um, especially because in this game... This also or, seems like a shorter game than that? In Silent Hill, no. No? This is definitely longer? Definitely not, yeah. For okay. sure it's longer. Because it seems slower, and something about that it's slower makes it seem like it will end shorter. I don't know where that's coming from, but... Um, Let's see if I can run past this guy. So they're talking about alcohol in the chat, and somebody somebody said, uh, "Or does he just she use it automatically?" Hmm. Somebody said, "Like, let's set a uh, thing, and then damn it. said bourbon slash rum, and I saw bourbon slash rum switched rum Shit. and bourbon, and then thought it said run button." Oh shit, you just shit. got you just got eaten. You just got your neck bit, girl. This is Jill. How the fuck do I shoot? What the hell? There you go. Ugh. Right, that's Jill? Dick, yes, it is Jill. Is Jill cool? Yeah, Jill's cool. Yeah, of course Jill's cool. She's the master of unlocking. The master of unlocking? Yeah. That's cool. You you don't know any of the good lines from Resident Evil. No, I don't know any of the anythings. Yeah, there are a lot of like classically terrible lines in the original, but they're all removed from this remake, which like I don't know, kind of makes it worse. But yeah, there's like some part where he goes like, oh, he, like it's like the most awkwardly written sentence ever. He goes like, for you, Jill, the master of unlocking, it shouldn't be a problem or something <laughs> like that. And the other classic one is, like, there's a room where the ceiling starts going down like she's going to be crushed, and Barry pulls her out of there, and Barry goes, like, you are almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, Havoc Pioneer says, Keith, you need to acquire rumbourbon.com. Um, we don't even have, well, I mean, I don't know if I can afford a .com right now. No. I could afford a dot .info. <laughs> no, you couldn't. Those yeah, are more expensive. No, the dot .infos are like $2 a year, $3 really? a year. Yeah, it dot .infos are super, super cheap. Infos are like 2 or 3 um, dot .bizzes are like like 9 a year, and then dot .coms are like somewhere between 15 and 25 No, they're not. Yeah. They're like, like, I guess it depends on where you look, but like... Havoc. Not Havoc. Hover. No way. Yeah. There's something I missed over here. I mean, I guess there was literally no reason for me to come down this way because I just got a s survival knife or defensive um, knife that I then immediately had to use. Uh, I don't have a David Duchovny wants to know how the real. Da I know we have fake Brad Shoemaker. This is real David Duchovny. Right, of course, real David Duchovny. Real David Duchovny wants to know how many vanity URLs I have and what my favorite is. I own ContentBurger.biz, YourSaltyGrandma.exposed, and <sighs> FuckDads.com. And pro I don't know. I the really fuck is like wrong all of this. with you. What do you think is wrong with me? Those two of two of the so three of those much. linked to our our Patreon. Are you really asking me that question? Which what one I is think your is favorite? With you? Obviously, your salty grandma. Exposed. That's is. the one that you side at. 
Have you you've seen the splash page, right? No, it's you it's ridiculous to me that you're like, oh, I have no money. Everybody sent me money, and then you're like, well, I, I do have your salty grandma dot exposed. But I bought those. I bought those in in June when I was making money and did, wasn't spending it because I lived at home and didn't have a girlfriend. Like the so it was it was there was like two months where I had some money until I moved out, and it was like I have a dot biz. Um. A dot exposed and a dot com, and those all together were like thirty five dollars or something. Like it's not. <laughs> so you chat ch- chiding me for spending thirty five dollars one time in June is ridiculous. Um, You're ridiculous. I'm Batman, and you're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. I'm gonna buy all the va- I'm gonna buy all the vanity URLs I can find. I'm gonna buy them all up. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Hallie says, oh yeah, it's your girlfriend that's really breaking the bank, Keith. Yeah, I mean, when I did have a girlfriend a month before that, or two months before that, um, that was, that was expensive. Why? Because, you know, paying money for stuff together i guess i guess nicole and i just like made a conscious decision to stop doing that after like the first few months we were dating like we were going out like all the time and spending tons of money and then we were like oh we have no money because we get we're going out like a bunch of nights a week like we should stop and keep our money right and did you guys just like never do that mortgage and yeah well well, at the the time though i wasn't helping with the mortgage it wasn't my mortgage. but i was also living in her house for free so i was also paying for and like and i didn't have a car for a lot of relationships so i was paying for gas and stuff i was paying for gas i was paying for food um stuff like that because i was i was living for free um look how good this game looks looks really good it's stupidly good yeah Um, and and this is they like up these are pre-rendered backgrounds Right. And they up them for this version? Or, you know, like, um, you know, they got the originals or whatever. Um, um, but, like, this this was basically a GameCube game. It, it looked, I mean, you know, the resolution wasn't as good on any of it, but it was pretty much like this. It was kind of incredible. Um, people are surprised that I was able to secure fuckdads.com. <laughs> and then it wasn't taken. That is actually kind of amazing. It's kind of amazing. That's why I bought it. I now, bought it now because, that I think about it, that is amazing. Yeah, like I kind of bought it because like I think it's a really funny name. Ooh, shotgun shells. Number one, funny name. Number two, fuck dads. Number three, wow, this isn't. I have to. I have to lock this down. Um, you didn't want to get fuck dads dot triple X. I didn't want to have to get fuck dads dot triple X. I didn't want to get fuck dads dot club. Um. Anyone uh, in the chat chatting about this game? Um, Falcon. People were saying that if you don't use tank control, some of the combat is harder. Yeah. I would like to hear if anyone could describe that and how that is. Falcon flavored punch says that this game looks great, but $20 is too much to bite for it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a fairly different game, but the original is on PSN for six bucks. Might be ten actually, but I think it's six, and it's well worth it. Oh. This was definitely this is a definitely another one of those like avoid combat at all costs. Like yeah, you can shoot the zombies, but you should just walk past them because they're goddamn shambling zombies. But this one introduced a uh, a system that was totally fucked up. Ah! That was a good. That was good. Ooh, what's in that statue's hand? Yeah. It's a fucking chaos emerald. Yeah. That was not like a that was not like a I'm scared blah. That was like a oh no my character is going to be hurt blah. I just feel like I need to justify that. Mhm. Um Oh, whoops. But uh so in the original game you just kill zombies and they just go away. And it's like that in like every Resident Evil game, but in this one if you destroy their head, which is practically random because you can't really aim. Uh, if you destroy their head, they die. So there's no way to destroy their head after knocking, like... No. 
That's fucked up because you could just you could just stomp on them. They'll get out of there. Maybe I should um, just kill them. So if you destroy their head, they die. But if you don't, they just lie there, and the body stays there for like a really long time. And you can get kerosene and matches to burn the body. And if you don't, the body will come back to life as a crimson head, where it's like a zombie that like sprints at you, and it's fucked up. Um. Oh, so Glorp says that it gets annoying to uh, fight in areas where the camera changes, and even harder yeah. to okay. run by enemies when the camera's changing. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Now the goodness has a good point, Kyle. To be fair, all fear is born from self-preservation. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Except, except clowns. They're just weird. They're just weird. I'm not afraid of a clown. They're just They're fucking weird. They're just fucking weird. weird. Could you? Could you? Could you like? Could you Fix keep your shit? Could clowns? you keep that water in that in that lapel flower, please? Oh my god! Could you cool it on the seltzer? No one likes seltzer. <laughs> oh god, that's the worst. Mm -hmm. It's not a pie if it's just shaped like whipped cream. If it's just whipped cream shaped like a pie, <laughs> that's not a pie. That's just a waste of whipped cream. Kyle, do you say whipped cream or whipped cream? Whipped. Whipped cream. I yes. get shit or I Whipped did. Whipped cream. Iced yes. tea. Iced tea. Iced tea. Yeah. So I get shit for like weeks at uh, my job at a Ugh. cafe for for saying whipped cream. God and damn like, it. And like I keep on. I show. Like, I look at the can and I'm like. It's fine that you call it whipped cream, but look at this can. It says whipped cream on it. Why are you doing this Jesus. to me? Jesus. Like, first I, And what did they say? It's like, oh, yeah, that's how they spell it, but you say whipped cream. They just they just will just be like, nah. Like, they don't... There's nothing... Like, it's... I'm I'm mostly over giving people shit for saying yeah. things a different way. Like, there's a couple holdovers. Mario is a holdover. There's a couple things that I'm like, eh, ugh, stop saying it. Yeah. Now. I'm mostly over being upset when people pronounce something incorrectly. Okay. But I'm probably less over it, but I still respect that. Right. But, like, to be mad at me for pronouncing something the way that I pronounce it. The way it says. It, and the yeah. way that it says on the can is ridiculous. This is kind of a different thing. But you know how um, in the Angry Beavers, they were obsessed with the drink Yahoo? Yes. And um, that was basically just like a ripoff of Yoohoo. And I knew like a bunch of kids my age that would like accidentally call it Yahoo's, like the real world drink. And when I like one kid I actually pointed out to like, no, it's not a Yahoo. It's a yoo See how it says Y-O-O? -O, or, uh, yeah, Y-O-O, H-O-O. -O, and he's just like, yeah, but it's pronounced Yahoo. Like, he really thought that it was spelled yoo but pronounced Yahoo. Like, Wait, who thought this? Just some fucking kid in my, in my <laughs> class or whatever. <laughs> okay. Like, you are dumb. Um, I definitely thought that for, like, a minute when I was younger. Um, or, like, I would see yoo and I would know about Yahoo, the search oh, right. engine, and I would be like, in my head, I'd be like, those are the same, right? And I kind of just learned that they weren't the same. Um, How many viewers okay. do we have right now? We have 209 viewers. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, so Allie in the chat is upset right now because we have an ongoing and, and, and eternal argument that I think that a cheesecake is a pie and she is wrong and calls it a cake. And I was upset. I just want to, I just need to clarify. Well, you wouldn't put a cheesecake in a pie crust. What's that? You wouldn't put a cheesecake no, in a pie crust. No, you absolutely would. It is absolutely in a crust. It's in a crust? Yeah, it's in a crust. Cheesecakes have crust. Why do people forget this? The crust, <laughs> I know this because the crust is my favorite part. Like the last bit of a cheesecake that has, it's on some crust. Hmm. It's on a graham cracker pie crust. Mm. And, and okay, but here's the thing. We, I would talk cheesecake's about how not that good. I love cheesecake. So I mean, chocolate like cheesecake, that's great because it's chocolate. I don't like, like chocolate eh. cheesecake at all God because I can't, it doesn't taste like cheesecake. But here's this is what I'm saying. We were talking. We were talking about the whipped cream pies and and how can how can I use the the crust defense in a cheesecake but not uh, call a whipped cream pie a pie? 
in my mind, the clown whipped cream pie does not have a crust. It is just in a tin, spray canned all around with whipped cream. Yeah, like I'm not imagining a crust in there. I'm not. I'm not imagining that these clowns would go as far as to waste a crust. <laughs> Malia Goodness says, Keith is talking so fast about cheesecake, I get real worked up about whether or not cheesecake is a pie or a cake. Um, Courtney says, it's a fucking pie, and that makes me feel a little bit less sure about my position. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, thought, I thought you were going to say it makes you like Courtney a little bit more, but... <laughs> no, no. You Thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Courtney, and I appreciate it, and I'm on your side, and we're on the same team. But you, you claim that in other countries in the world, they call it cheese pie? They do. Is that correct? Yes. Is this a for real thing that you can confirm? Here's the thing. Here's what I've learned recently. Um, uh, I've learned recently that, be, that in there are several languages in which cheesecakes are called cheese pies where the word for cake and pie are sometimes interchangeable. Okay. Well, um, that's... Have you heard about, uh, do you know about German animal names? Because I just saw the video about that. No, I bet that they're in German. Well, yeah. Hot dogs are, of course, a sandwich. Please. Please. I'm kidding. I Even I can't say, of course. Like, I think definitely, of course, pie, cheesecakes are a pie. But I do not think, of course, hot dogs are sandwiches. I think that takes a, a little bit more bullshit semantic acrobatics to, <laughs> to discuss. <laughs> um. Wait. This is nor playing a normal difficulty. Hang on. Yes. Oh, God. Where do I go? What do I do? What? Oh, shit. No, I'm just supposed to run. Shit. Fuck. Oh, shit, you gotta run. Oh, man. Oh, I just died. You just died. I just oh, God, ate it. Oh, God, that's a bad death. Here's what you would do in this situation. You'd fucking, one, you'd try and duck down. Now, wait a second. Yeah. You're, you're saying hot dog's not a sandwich. No, I'm saying it is a sandwich. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm just saying that it takes more bullshit semantic acrobatics to make that point. See, for a second, I thought you said that you don't think hot dogs are a sandwich, and then I was like... Then who the fuck was I arguing with about hot dogs being sandwiches? That was me. It was on a it was on a it was on a classic run button mini cast that you can get access to at three dollars a month at, at Patreon. There are several fucking classic mini cast episodes. That one is really good. The episode where you and Austin are very upset about OK Cupid is very good. At me about OK Cupid. A I lot mean. of those mini casts are really good. A lot of those mini casts are really good. Um There's only eighteen of them and they're won't be a steady stream of new ones yeah but, i think yeah. there haven't been a steady stream of them for a while which is why we took them off of like the things that we're offering but we're still gonna do, we're still gonna try and do them when we can do them sure um and so. and even towards the end like the last few that i put up were like ones where we just recorded ourselves talking like during a stream and then instead of putting it as the stream part that i uploaded to youtube i just cut it into its own thing so it wasn't even like intended as a mini cast <laughs> Ali says Keith doesn't know what sandwiches are he doesn't know what a pie is he doesn't know what the color green is Keith is a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> Ali I fucking love you that was great that was really good <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ali and I had another argument where uh, where our friend Art Tebble uh, had a shirt that he said was green and his girlfriend said it was blue and he sent us a picture of the shirt and I said it was obviously green and Allie said that it was obviously blue. And Wait, I remember this shirt but I don't remember which one I thought. I don't remember which one you thought either but it doesn't matter because I put two different pictures of it under a like a like an RGB thing and it read as slightly more green than blue. So it doesn't matter. I won that. I'm the winner. Science proved it. Science and computers. Now, was the discussion about the shirt itself or a specifically a picture of the shirt? A picture of the shirt. It, two different pictures of the shirt. Because, um, because if this is a shirt that they're both seeing in real life and you're only seeing it on a picture, you could it could be wrong. Jess, Jess and Art were seeing it in real life. And Allie and I were seeing just a picture. And Art and I agreed that it was green, and Jess and Allie agreed that it was blue. I feel like I remember it being green. 
well, I can tell you why you remember being green <laughs> was because it was green. Ah, cool. <laughs> uh, Havoc Pioneer says, Keith, how many British puddings are there and how insane is it? There is an endless amount of British puddings, and it is very insane. Literally infinite puddings. Yeah. If you can name an object, there is a person that lives in the UK that will call it a pudding. All right. I'm going to get up and do a thing. Okay. When I sit back down, I want you to ask me about German animal names. Got it. Are you leaving the room? Nope. Okay. Man, I've got like another sandwich here. This is great. Feeling good. Are you... Powerful. Hashtag going. That was like so, like you were so not into it. Yeah. Um, oh, so we haven't said this expressly in a while. Uh, hi, we're Run Button. I, my name is Keith and the other one is Kyle. If you don't know that, how are, what? Uh, and we, we've discovered that we have to pay a lot of money in taxes because of the money that you've always already given us. Um, so if you want to give us more money, we would really like it. And there's links below. Um, to, pay taxes. to pay taxes, specifically. Uh, Kyle and I realized that we both are going to have to pay like between 1500 or between 1000 and $2,000 each in taxes. Uh, because of because of the money that we made on Patreon, and we knew that we would have to pay taxes, we just didn't realize that it would be that that many m m many dollars. Um, Keith, why is Kyle? While Kyle is gone, confirm hotel for dogs. Confirmed. It's confirmed. There's no way that Kyle is weaseling out of doing a hotel for dogs. Let's watch. Courtney uh, graduates in May. That's nice. Congratulations, Courtney. Yeah, it only took you six years. Uh, Courtney says, I thought I told you you had to pay taxes. We knew the whole time that we'd have to pay taxes. We just didn't realize it would be between $2,000 and $4,000 for the two of us. Um, ah, that's bad. What is that? What is that horrible thing? Can I right click on a do? Yeah, you can get it. <laughs> uh, that should be over now. Uh, <laughs> uh, That's just a thing my PS3 decides to do completely randomly. Um, that was rough. Uh... Um Yeah, so I guess I guess the two thousand to four thousand dollars comes in where where like we're not sure what Tile's tax Kyle's tax bracket is, right? So basically all of the run button stuff is in his name, so he has to pay all the taxes on it, and then I have to pay him half of whatever that is. Um so if he is in a higher tax bracket than we would like him to be in, that is then it will basically significantly increase the amount of money that we have to pay. Um. What are we about to play? I might still be playing more Resident Evil. Okay. But I'm going to download the original Resident Evil also. Okay. Hmm. Can you hit full screen camera? I don't know if it's going to show any like, financial information or whatever. All right. And uh, Nicole asked me to come back and check on her in a while, so I'm going to have to go up and do that. Okay. Um, if I added somebody on Skype while you were gone, would that be a thing that we would have to change a thing for? Uh, no. Okay. Who, who are you gonna... Um, I was probably going to add John Nugent. Who? 
John Nugent? Do you not know John Nugent? You would like John Nugent. I just saw John in the chat, so I was like, oh, John Nugent would be fun. John probably knows Resident Evil. John knows video games. John does uh is 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 streams at twitch.tv slash stream of dreams. Oh, do I already own this game? Even better. Alright, you can go back to I guess we can keep it full screen. It doesn't matter. Okay. Can I just add a person? Yeah, just don't go crazy. I would like to keep it to one person at a time. I'm gonna do one person. I thought at two time. people on Skype made it like a little too crazy. It was, especially because we had three people in the room. Yeah. All right, this should work. Kyle's just going upstairs to check on Nicole. Everybody's being very nice to me. That's great. I'm calling John. I don't know if he's going to answer. I did just see him in the chat. If that doesn't work, then I'll... I'll... Answering. Let's see. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to reach people in another way. To be fair, everybody that I called was on Do Not Disturb on Skype. Um, Kramer says Keith definitely has the best hair of all the Keiths in the world. I'll, I'll fucking add Courtney, Courtney. But we're gonna hang up on you like after a second. Like you're not. I'm. This is. We're gonna do. You're later. Oh, no, I'm hanging up on Courtney. Sorry, Courtney, bye. <laughs> I called Courtney for eight seconds and then hung up. Kyle has a thing that I think he wants to call you during. This is not working. Uh, we got a donation from Ron Button. There we go. Hey, Allie. Hi. I called you, and then you called me, and then I called you back, and n none of those worked somehow. <laughs> So I called you back and then realized I had to get my headphones. Oh, okay. I thought that you were yeah. like, well, this fucking idiot's just not answering. <laughs> this sh piece of Having. shit. This shit heel obviously isn't going to pick up. Um, if it, For everyone doesn't know, Allie is my bully. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Keith are best friends. But Keith doesn't know anything about anything. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. oh, what, what kind of drink do you get? Kyle got a drink. Good shit. What is that? Let me see. What is this? Oh, no. Give me some. No. Kyle got a, came with a drink. He won't let me have it. He's being really weird about I it. I have to talk about it. Okay. Is it... What is it? Is it like a cranberry juice? No. Um, is it a juice at all? Is it a juice at all? Allie wants to know if it's a juice at all. What? He's, he's grumpily getting into his chair. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's making a big show about it like a douche. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> is it carbonated? Oh my god, did you, did you see this donation from Ron Button? I did. Oh, I didn't see how much it was. I was in the middle of reading it when Dude, you came in. Dude, it's for $45. $45, Thanks, Ron Button. For the tax that probably came from my Patreon donations, I guess. And then a question mark. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> so, here's the thing. Here's Wait. the thing. Everybody who's ever given us money needs to double that because of the taxes you caused us, <laughs> you ungrateful <laughs> jerks. What is this fucking mystery drink? Okay, so what it is... Yeah, I'm very curious. And of course, just to be clear, you know, now we know going forward that we need to take a certain percentage out of our Patreon earnings and put it aside in a savings account for tax purposes. Mm -hmm. Um, The juice that I got, it's a V8 Splash Blue Raspberry Juice mixed with Seagram's Ginger Ale. Very delicious. That's it a was, lot. Wait, it's once. cranberry juice and seagram ginger ale is what you're saying. No, it's it's blue no. raspberry juice. Blue raspberry juice. It was a it was a spark of genius that I had just now. I was okay. like, what should I drink? I kind of want this blue juice. Ju- kind of want ginger ale. Holy ginger shit, ale. mix them together. So I'll say this because I assumed you said cranberry because cranberry and ginger ale is something that I've been having since I was a small. Yeah, it's small fucking child. delicious. Of course, delicious. yeah. So you're gonna have to give me a sip of this this new magic that you you've created. Remember, it's not like a for real raspberry juice. It's V8 Splash Blue Raspberry Juice. Wait, V8 Splash is like vegetables mixed with fruit? Dang. No, V8 Splash is like juice that is slightly less bad for you than normal run-of-the-mill <laughs> juice. It's like it's like juice, but like they put some sweet potatoes in it. It's like that's not vegetable juice. That's just like... I don't know. It's yeah. It, it is supposed. It is like a slightly, like, more, less sugary, and maybe has more stuff. Like instead of Isn't just one it fucked thing, up the juice is bad for you. It's so fucked up. I spent so a lot up. of my life, and I think if this is because of, you know, or, parents saying so, or that you know you have you you tried juice that's good for you. It sucks. You know what? Sucks. I like this shit. I like this, I like this, hold on a second. All right. I like this juice that's good for me. Like what? I don't. Fuck, I like. Uh, I like. You know those Odwallas. I like naked juices. Those uh, are good okay. for you. Okay, that's fine. I like those. Sorry to put you on the you, uh, spot and have to you... make you think oh, of the juice. Oh no, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, Allie, have I spoken to you before? Mm-hmm. Allie, I think so. Allie was on a little bit of a that's... stream that you were on a like, little bit of. Okay, because I feel like I don't. I don't really feel like I've ever spoken to her. But I also feel like it could be one of those times where I say that, and she's like, I've been on a stream with you like four times. And I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> you you guys we, were on the same stream for like five or ten minutes, okay. and you were distracted. Okay, Keith, yeah. yeah. could you open up the Blackmagic audio and like just bump it up like a half a one just to see if the thing is still freaking? It probably is. I'm sure it is still. No, no, no. I mean like put bring it down to one half bar. And then unmute it. Yeah. I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. Bring it up. Oh, is it gone? It's gone. Oh, is it that horrible noise? Oh, magic. Yeah. Black magic. Uh-huh. This is a dangerous game that we're playing, Churchill. So I um. Isn't it weird that we have last names? That that's that's so crazy. But we have the same initials, Casey. We do have the same initials. Pan for KC. Yeah. Oh, that's mm. right. But you are KTC. And I'm KJC. Yes, we do very slightly, Keith. Mm-hmm. But no, um, so... I'll take off this jacket again. Getting hot. Me... Watch out for the candle behind you. Oh, you still have that fire here? Yeah. Me, my sister, Keith, his sister, and their mom are all KC. And my dad. Oh, and, wow. and your dad. And my dad. And, and like your dad. almost all my cousins. Like, I've got a... That's- I've got. That's a lot. I have a cousin, uncle, oh, you, and Kenny. grandfather that are all Ken <laughs> Carberries. There's, Jesus. There's my brother Kevin Carberry. There's. Um, I I did think it was funny that at one point, um, you and I both had a cat named with a K name. Kurt Carberry is my other uncle. We both did have K cats. I had Kiwi. You had King. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't believe there's even that many K names that exist well, for that to be popular possible. And now all my fucking friends have A names. Casey so, with a K. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I still got other Resident Evil running. I'm just gonna jump into. 
I was uh, afraid this would happen. I just played the the new Resident Evil, which made me want to play the old Resident Evil. I'll tell you. I'll <laughs> say this. I will say this right now: is that someone pointing out Knuckles begins with a K. There you go. Oh. Gotta add to that K. I did, Kyle, and I. And to be fair, I did promise them that if the our Patreon got to like fourteen hundred, you would have to name your kid Knuckles. I said that you would have to. Fourteen hundred is enough. For that I can't yeah. commit to Knuckles. I will commit to a Sonic character. You will commit to a Sonic Absolutely. character? Absolutely. Oh, you've already picked. <laughs> oh my god. Is your kid's name es- Espio? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually kill? Mighty. It's, it's actually Mighty. mighty. Okay. Oh, it's not going to be Miles. We're, we're naming her Blaze the Cat Churchill. <laughs> <laughs> Evo the Goosehog Churchill. Can you uh, bump this up a bit? Bump it up. It sounds pretty good for me. I think it sounds a little low to me. Not no no not that. Oh, that's the wrong button. For the love of God, was, never like touch that. Minutes. Just remember, never touch that uh, one. Uh, <coughs> there we go. I bumped it up a little bit. Uh, um, Allie, you so know about this game. My favorite thing, yeah. Um, because Al, Kyle, Allie's a is a big Silent Hill jerk. Oh, you're you're one of those Silent <laughs> Hill jerks. Yeah. Allie's yeah. one of the because oh, Silent like, Hill jerk off from way back. A lot, of our, <laughs> a lot of the people that I know that really like Silent Hill are like, you know, I like Silent Hill, but I'm not one of those jerks. Yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty sure Allie's one of those. They're jerks. all one of those jerks. No, they're not. Allie is. Like Bob probably isn't. No. Like, yeah. but, uh, Sorry. To be fair, I said that to you, Keith. I was like. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm literally the worst Silent Hill fan. I'm sorry <laughs> that we're all terrible, but I also am just the Let's, worst. let's you, enjoy I, this FMV. Okay. Situated in Northwest <sighs> Searching for the helicopter of our computer. Are we screen sharing with Allie? Allie, do you want to screen share? Oh, sure. I'm just watching the, the stream still. Share screens. Bizarre murder cases. Share my screen. Share a window. City. Oh man, I forgot the extent to this FMV intro. You're gonna fucking love this. Me? I am? I mean anyone should love it. It's like they, they go through like the cast of characters with like like almost like nineties era, like a sitcom intro or something. You're saying that this is the too many cooks of FMV intros. <laughs> Again, haven't seen too many cooks. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. What the f- too many cooks? What yeah, the fuck it was just that? some fucking thing from Adult Swim, I think, that people were in Did love you? with for did yeah. you see or did I show you that YouTube video that was like um, the was Game of Thrones in intro if Game of Thrones was like a show from like 1994? No. It was fucking amazing. It was like they took all these clips from Game of Thrones, added like a fuzzy filter that made it look like it was shot on video. And uh, they just had all the in- opening credits all set to like the one shot of the entire show of each character smiling. So it just That's looked great. like it was like, ah, ha, ha, here I am. And then it'd be like, Sean Bean. What was that? What was the name? What was the, who's the whispering guy from, from that? <laughs> Jimmy Whisper. Jimmy Whispers. God, that's still like my favorite thing. Ellie, you know what we're talking about? Do you know, no. do you know bad lip reading? The, the YouTube channel, no. bad lip reading? Check this shit out. Um, there's a YouTube, that is great. I love this. This is so good. Oh, it's so good. There's a YouTube channel called Bad Lip Reading that got really popular around making, um, uh, like, doing, like, because his mother, uh, his mother is hearing impaired and, like, tried to learn lip reading, like, with his mother and was always really terrible at it and found that it was really funny to, like, try and figure out what people were saying because it always, sa- it always came out, like, gibberish in his head. And so he started making, like, election videos where he was bad lip-reading all of the people in, like, all of the yeah, presidential so candidates. He takes he takes videos and overdubs um, himself himself saying just completely random shit, and it's all hilarious. It's, and he did, he did one for Game of Thrones, but framed it as, like, a summer camp movie, like an 80s <laughs> camp flick. Like and they were working at a medieval theme park, basically. Oh, yeah, it was a medieval yeah, check, theme park. Check this shit out right this here. This is so <laughs> good. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jill Valentine. <laughs> She's like wearing like police pajamas. <laughs> Why didn't they just keep this in the remake? Oh, God. I don't know because they don't know what makes their thing good. <laughs> I know. God, this is ready for God. karate. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 that fucking look of like, oh, there you are. Oh, he's a bad guy. <laughs> um. 
Uh, and yeah, oh, they, they did the same thing with Game of Thrones, and, and Jamie Lannister's character was named Jimmy Whispers, and he only whispered. And it was really <laughs> good. Because, <laughs> like, like, I got a Walkman. He's like, like a fancy Walkman? Kinda. Oh my god, this is what this game looks like? Fuck yeah, yeah. it is. What a mess. Silent Hill looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there were like four years between this and Silent Hill, but I yeah. I know, but it was the Silent, same yeah, thing. But yeah, Silent Hill Christmas. looks amazing. Stop it. Don't open that door. Oh oh. Yeah, I'm smiling so much. I love this game. <laughs> you sure you don't want to turn it up a little bit? I'll what turn it up. It? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. <laughs> okay. Let me handle this. Oh, man. It's kind of a shame there's not more dialogue in this game, because... Stay alert! <laughs> <laughs> now, she's the master of unlocking. She is the master yes. of unlocking. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's it's kind of funny going back because the remake it's like so incredibly atmospheric, and then you see this original, it's just like the lights are on, like it's not even scary looking. And you're saying the remake was for GameCube, right? Yeah, that was my first experience with this game was being at the Westin Inn, what? and you were playing yeah. the remake. Yeah, that's yeah. That's literally my only. Kyle and I went. We're at a hotel. What? And we hold did... on. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. <laughs> Hope this is not Chris's blood. I'll. Oh shit! You know what is fucking weird about that night too? So three things of note happened on that night. Okay. One, that Lay was my first me. experience with this game. It's only significant because we're playing this game now, and my o my only frame of reference for what Resident Evil is like, I've never even seen this before. Yeah. Like I had no idea that's what this looked like because in my head it was always that GameCube game. Right. And. So the second thing is that we spent the rest of the night playing Fight Night Round 3 oh, for man. fucking hours, and it was a blast. Yeah, it was. We uh, also did, do you remember doing a video blog with me? This is the third thing I was going to say. Yeah. This was the first time that Kyle and I ever recorded anything together. Kyle did a fucking GameSpot uh, user video blog, or blog, <laughs> and did videos, and I was on the video, and that was the first time we ever did anything like that together. And this was, yeah. what, 2006? Uh, seven, five, two thousand six, seven. It would be seven. seven. Yeah. So it predates Combat Rockets by two by almost two years. Uh, really? almost. No, because we did it probably we, probably exactly two years. This? Okay. Watch out! It's a monster. Oh my god! It's a monster. <laughs> nice shot, Burton. Barry. Well, sure. Barry. <laughs> Barry Burton. Hey, but we call him Barry. I call him Burton because we're close. Too. No. Mm -hmm. Maybe by this creature. No. Yeah. That's not how that works. Yeah, sometimes it is. Anyway, let's report mm -hmm. this to Wesker. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So like, Mr. And, Burton's and my what, father. What's fucking brilliant about that <laughs> video? That, what? I just laughing at my own joke. What is it? Yeah. I just whispered, "Mr. Burton is my father," <laughs> but in a weird voice. <laughs> What was fucking brilliant about that video blog... So the video blog that I did was just like... I would... It would, you know, just like anything. Like, talk about, like, what games have I been playing recently? And then mention some game news or something. Um, Wesker! What was brilliant about it, though, is it had about as much substance as anything we do now. Which was like... We just, um... Like, went to the... We N64, like eggs. We went to the N64 controller that was attached to the TV and just literally flipped through the games available to rent and just said what they were and then, like, made fun of, like, the um, room service breakfast menu. How, yeah, we talked, <laughs> you made fun of me for thinking that poached eggs were really good. Yeah. And then we talked about a thing that we still talk about, which is that you like crispy bacon and I don't, and you're wrong and an idiot. I don't remember that. We did. <clears throat> Does that video still exist somewhere? I have it, but no, it's not available. <laughs> like, oh, I, man. I, I saved as many as I could, but I made sure that no one else could get them. <laughs> Can we fucking try and do something with that? Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, it would be great. It would be so great. 
I think if you hit like X amount of dollars on Patreon, you should. Oh, yeah, it. that's a mile. Yep, I'm gonna write it in as a milestone right now. <laughs> well, can't I do can't guarantee that I have me. it though. I I might not. There's a good chance I don't have. It. I'm gonna. I will add that in. I will add that in to that. It might not be available. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know. Also, both on. kinds of bacon are fine. I don't know why you guys. One of my one of my favorite things from that era though is I have this um. Like music video okay. that was like the, the first time I got like a video capture card to record video footage. Did you do I just, any original music video? I just played like a bunch of different games all at once. It was also um, my friend let me borrow his 360 for a day, so it was like the first time I played a 360 on my own. So I had like a bunch of just like random game footage and then just like cut it together on like a song from Burnout. That's such a weird. That's such a weird thing. My friend let me borrow his 360 for a day. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it was a weird, weird thing. It was a weird thing, but I just was fucking obsessed with it. I wanted one so bad and couldn't get one. They were badass. They were so badass. If something happens. Mm -hmm. I had I had a 360 game before I had a 360, just so I could play it at my friend's house, and my friend refused to buy it. It was Viva Pinata. <laughs> it was Viva Pinata, and it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Like nothing has ever pleased me more than the decision to buy my own copy of Viva Pinata and play it at my friend's house. That seems right, worth so, it. If there yeah. was a game that you were gonna do that for, Viva Pinata yeah. seems fair. All right, gold title. It was, it was funny because I ax I ended up kind of bonding. Uh, over it with my friend's brother. Like, my friend wanted nothing to do with it. He's like, this is stupid. Me and my friend are like, this game's actually amazing. <laughs> oh, these must be different puzzles, right? That's, what's the clock say now? A dusty looking grandfather clock. That's all it says. And a picture of a woman. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's How old was I in 2007? I was 15. Jesus. <laughs> hey, Kyle, you were 17? Yeah. Yeah. It's so weird because um, I'm sure people are like, oh, some, or some people are like, oh, they're so young at that that year but like i think about how embarrassing i think of that video being and i'm like man 17 seems really old for what we were doing i don't know <laughs> <laughs> that's fair um hey because yeah, when we started complex rockets is when i was 17 right keith can you yeah. pass me that remote that's like almost behind you to your left yeah Wait, was I 17 Thank when you started you. doing Complex Rockets? I don't fucking know how old you are at any given moment. How old were you when I don't you even started? know how old you are now. Yes, you do. 22. Yeah. See? But that I just I just know that because you're two years younger than me, but like I don't know what year... What yeah, it's... so just do whatever year you were and subtract two. This isn't complicated. This okay, is like... all right. So you were 17. Okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah. There we go. Um... Which seems like when I think about that, I was doing a thing in front of a microphone at seventeen. I feel like, who did? Who let me do that? <laughs> Where was my adult? Please, really? Yeah, like I feel like I was really. Young. But like then I listened to them and I'm like, oh, this is fine. Where was my adult? <laughs> yeah. Where, <laughs> like, Where was I, my adult? <laughs> I feel like. Did I, you wait? Uh, I'm sorry. Were you the one that said something about adult supervision, or was that something completely different? That was something completely different. I, I don't know what podcast it was, or whatever the fuck, but it was like, someone wrote in saying, like, um, like, one of my friends wanted to do something with that involved, like, fireworks or something, and I said... I don't know, man. It feels like something we need adult supervision for. He's like, then I realized I was 25 and I am the adult supervision. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's the new goal. Add, add $2,000. Gold title. 2007 video blog of Kyle and I talking about games in a hotel. Description. We can probably find this video of us at 15 and 17 in a hotel room riffing on N64 games and arguing about eggs. <laughs> <laughs> That's there. It is. There's a new milestone. Where's my PS4 controller? That's black. Oh, there it is. That's what we're working towards, guys. That's what this is all about now. <laughs> Gotta get that egg video. Gotta get that nostalgia egg video. <laughs>
It it was weird cuz it was weird how much of a community there was around GameSpot user user video blogs at the time. Yeah. Like you think like oh a 17-year-old kid talking into a a camera and then just posting it on a website that's not even YouTube cuz YouTube was barely even a thing back then like who was watching that? There was actually like a bunch of people that watched it and commented all the time. It was weird. Man, fucking Tony Chicago was like had fans. Oh, fuck. People read that well, guy's shit. Only, well, only because he lied and said that he was 14 and got a girl, for, a girl pregnant. Right. And then begged to be like, I'm sorry I lied for attention. Please don't hate me. Do you remember when we found his YouTube? Not because we looked for it, but because he literally offered it. <laughs> what? His, his Facebook. And we saw all his, all his pictures. What do you mean he his, offered it? In one of his videos, he was like, I'm not oh. going to be on GameSpot very much anymore. So here's my Xbox here's my Live face- account. Here's my, my Facebook. Okay. Here's my everything. Like, all of it. And then he looked at his picture and and gotcha. read his post and laughed. Um. Oh, you're going back to the remake? Yeah. How come? It's just that uh, it's it's got that thick ass atmosphere. It does have a thick ass <laughs> atmosphere? Yeah. Andy. Oh. Okay. Kyle, I'm going to read you a question, and then or I'm going to read, read a comment from Andy, and then you're going to say... A comment from Andy? Andy, Claire, not Andy Short. Oh. Uh, Don't get my hopes up, sorry. buddy. You're going to say either yes or no. This isn't a question, but you're going to know what I'm implying. <clears throat> okay. She no, says, three stars members left who the now. fuck is Tony Chicago? What is this place? Uh, I'm sorry. What are we doing right now? Not quite your ordinary house. Chicago stuff. That's for sure. No. Yes, no. 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 We did that on our other marathon. That video is available. Jill, no. If you go to if you go to our YouTube page, um, runbutton.net will take you to our YouTube page, mm-hmm. and go to the search function and search no. Tony Chicago. I'm sure I tagged it on that video. I'm sure it will pop up. I'm going with her. Here's. There's always Tony more Tony started? Chicago. I don't think I don't think Can Tony's I, ever I, seen anything. You two guys. <laughs> <laughs> could, could, um, I will check. Can I do what? Um, I remember we actually wanted to do a video blog of us reading and making fun of Tony Chicago's things. Even I, then, I messaged him just asking, like, "Hey, uh, my cousin and I want to read your things on a video. Can we do it?" And he never responded, so we didn't do it. That was considerate of us. It super was. I don't know why we did that. <laughs> <laughs> this channel has no content matched Tony Chicago. I'm imagining this guy as like your GameStop rival. This, I have to read one thing. He, <laughs> no, he was a guy that we just stumbled upon. because So GameSpot had a really active... I mean, user maybe still community. does user review scene where you could go to a game, post your own rating, and it was kind of cool because you could make it look. You could give it all the same, uh, all the same flair as like a an official GameSpot review, like the different, <laughs> you know, the graphic score and the story score or whatever. You can give it a tagline like masterpiece. <laughs> Uh, and we just found this guy's user reviews somewhere, and uh, they were just we were the looking, fucking worst thing we we'd ever seen. We were on purpose looking up good reviews for the first 50 Cent game. So really, you can just see we've been doing this forever. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's look up uh, positive reviews of <laughs> yeah. this terrible game and we laugh were, at them. I we heard were fif- really good things about that game. We were f- no, no, that's blood on the sand. That game what is else? legitimately good. Look this out, is the first one, 50 Cent Bulletproof, and that game is abysmal. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so we, we were probably 14 and 16 or 15 and 17, and we're looking up on purpose bad reviews I mean good reviews of bad games and stumbled on this guy and it was just a hole that we fell into that we could not and still have not climbed out (laughs) (laughs) we still have not climbed out of it we still cannot figure out what this guy is about literally I'm not kidding like Two days ago, I was loading groceries into the back of my car at the grocery store, and for some reason thought about the idea of, like, somebody that we thought of as, like, a, in, in a small way, a Tony Chicago or, like, a mini Tony Chicago, and I thought that he would be a tiny Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to read, I have to read this. I have to read at least one. 
This is a Tony Chicago. This is the first Tony Chicago review that we ever read. It's of 50% bulletproof. 50% bulletproof. <laughs> Only half of them get through. He is fifty percent bulletproof. That would be a great, like, derisive title for a fifty cent bulletproof review. Oh man, fifty percent um, bulletproof G unit edition. Um, I, there's no way to like. I'm going to try my best to imply misspellings and and punctuation and caps lock. This is the this is the title of the review. I love this game. It's a great game. Love the soundtrack. It neat a higher rating. It's for sure one of the best games of 2005. No, nothing. Good game, I think. Maybe not everyone, but why do A care? At least I like that. All what matters. It doesn't have the best graphics, but whatever. It's tons of fun. Good soundtrack, I think. Worth every penny you pay. That's what I think. I love it's. I love this game. It has good guns. Not much of a story, but that that. But what's fun? It killing someone in this game. It's nice that you can watch music videos and listen to good rap. That should make 50% bulletproof too, and I will be the first person to play it. You said per, you said 50% again. Did I? Man. Yeah. Well, it's late. They should make 50 Cent Bulletproof 2, and I will be the first one to play it. That's such a good line. Uh, and so we were like, hold on, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has a hundred reviews. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> can, I, can I do one more? Yes. Well, okay. you have to do have at to least, do at least three. I have to do at least two more. Yeah, you're right. I do have to do at least two two more. Um, I'll do. Um, I'm gonna. I'll do his review of Super Mario Brothers three. Uh, oh, so another thing that that this is that that Tony Chicago does is literally every the lowest review that he's ever given was he gave Madden. He he gave uh, he gave Madden two thousand eight a. Uh, as for the Xbox, a 7.7 7 out of 10. A game that he gave a perfect score to for the <laughs> PS2, but was equally positive in both reviews. <laughs> That's the lowest score he's got given. Everything else is like 8.5 and above. Most of his things are 9s of 10s, like almost across the board. Um, he just plays good games. He just plays good games. Like yeah, 50, like, like 50% like 50 bullet bulletproof. 50% <laughs> bulletproof. G Unit Edition. Okay. Uh -huh. well, this is a review of Super Mario Bros. 3. Most likely one of the best games ever. Great game, you know what I mean? Tons of fun, you know what I mean? Worth every penny that you pay, you know what I mean? It's so fun, worth playing in the series, you know what I mean? It's for sure one of the best games ever made, you know what I mean? You can just fall in love with this game, you know what I mean? Graphics were good for its time, you know what I mean? This game is old school, but whatever, it's still a great game, you know what I mean? Sound is great in this game, you know what I mean? It's so worth the price you pay for this game, you know what I mean? <laughs> and... And... Uh, and we, Kyle, we must have done like 20 of these in a row, right? Like, we couldn't have stopped. Oh, no, I'm sure we did not. <laughs> um, and so we just kept going. Uh, oh, here's a, here's a, here's one. Oh, uh, that's just a rating. He has, he has Resident Evil Veronica, Code Veronica here, but did not review it, just rated it. Okay. Um, and, you know, I forgot, there is a second, <laughs> a second later part to the Tony Chicago saga that we can get to. We can get there, yeah. There's actually two other parts. Are you talking about the, his more the more recent thing or the way older thing? I don't I don't know which is which. The UFC thing or the U, I'm lie. thinking the UFC thing. Okay, sure. What um, is the, what's the other thing? Uh, where he lied about being pregnant or his oh, girl, his girl his fake girlfriend? Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, so no, you guys just mentioned that. Oh, okay. So so here's what happened is, um. Oh God, no! Wait, before we lose track, fuck, I want to read fuck, this other fuck, review. Fuck. It's very short. Um, hold on. So, okay, uh, yeah. So, you look up that review, and I'll get to it. So, in my time in the GameSpot community, I encountered some kid who said... It was a blog post that, that was apologizing for having lied about him impregnating his, his imaginary girlfriend, I believe. Yeah, the girlfriend was imaginary. Um, and, and saying that he just wanted, you know, people to like him, and he was really sorry, he wouldn't do it again, and people shouldn't hate him, blah, blah, blah. And I was just oh, like, that is fucking insane and sad. 
Um, flash forward to us finding about, out about Tony Chicago, we start looking through his user blog, and it dawns on me, this is the kid that lied about impregnating his girlfriend. It was like that I had already encountered him before, and this was the same person. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how did you connect the dots? Well, I just found that post. Yeah, found the post oh, apologizing okay. for the thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, so before... I thought he was, like, trying to hide his identity. So, no. so before... Oh, no, he's very public. He just gave me his <laughs> Facebook. Me and all of GameSpot, his Facebook. Um, I'm having a hard... GameSpot is not co cooperating tonight in terms of loading things. Okay, so just so that we can get a sense for what his reviews are like, I, I, Ali, I'm sure you remember some of the things that he was repeating over and over again in the last review. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is his review of Pokemon Red. Uh, I give it a 9.3. Very critical for Tony Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Play this game again. Bring back memories. Great game. You know what I mean? Tons of fun. You know what I mean? Worth every penny that you pay. You know what I mean? It's such a great game. You know what I mean? It's so worth getting if you like RPG. You know what I mean? You can get this game for a cheap price. You know what I mean? But this game is pretty old school and way out of date compared to the PSP or DS. You know what I mean? You can fall in love with this game. You know what I mean? This game works very well. You'd like... Like, you know what I mean. Also, the game is not color originally. Also, the game is not at all hard of a game. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh my god. He has a hundred reviews and almost They're all of them follow that all exact exactly pattern. Like, that. like half a sentence of descriptive text sandwiched by you us know what understanding I mean. what he means. Um, um. <laughs> and then a and then a three year break from reviewing. Well, also let's point out this. You could also add your gamer tag, your Xbox Live gamer tag to it. Oh and his yeah. His was uh, the Go Father two two three or something oh, like yeah. that. He's I assume with, like the Sopranos and Godfather and like he's like, Italian. He's Italian. He really his name's like, Tony. His name's Tony. He's from Chicago. He's fucking Tony Chicago. Even though by the time he made the username Tony Chicago, he had lived in Toronto for years. Wait, um, what? Yeah, you don't remember that part of it? No. He's not actually, he hadn't lived in Chicago. He, like, moved away from Chicago when he was four or five or something and moved to Toronto. Um, oh, I guess there was something I was supposed to do to prevent this from happening. Oh, my God. His blog has just a list so, of his favorite bands. Oh, favorite bands, <laughs> favorite games. Oh, I remember now how I <laughs> how I get past this. Whoops. Um, but anyways, I love that his, his uh, gamer tag was The Go Father. Yeah, which I assume he just meant The Godfather and left out the D by accident. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he took a three-year break from reviewing things. Uh, I do not care that we've told this story before, yeah. by the way. Uh, <laughs> and, and then all of a sudden, so he... He disappears into legend. Yeah. <laughs> Fades into the mist of internet. Yeah. Uh, and then we were, I think, on a marathon, or like a couple days before a marathon, I was like, oh, we, we're going to talk about Tony Chicago in this marathon. I'm going to look, I'm going to get links to some stuff. No, I don't I don't think it was... Uh, it was like the day of a marathon or something. No, <laughs> you're... Before we started. You're thinking, of, you're thinking of our first marathon the first time we told this story. Okay, yeah. But no, it was just some some random day, and we, like, uh, yeah, we noticed like, oh shit, like Tony Chicago posted a new review like recently, Alpha team is and we went to read it, and it was for the most recent UFC game, and like it was really eloquent and well written. I have it here. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> Pretty good game. This is the title. Pretty good game. Good gameplay. Good graphics. I think it's still overall better than EA Sports MMA on PS3. Regardless of whether or not you played last year's game, you'd do well to check out UFC 2010's tutorial mode before jumping into the octagon to do battle with one of the 100 plus, as opposed to last year's 41, UFC fighters. The most intuitive controls are largely unchanged. Your limbs are mapped to the four face buttons, shoulder buttons are still used for blocking and modifying attacks, and the right analog stick has a number of different uses, depending on whether or not you're fighting standing up, in a clinch, or on the ground. There are several new techniques and strategies, so it goes on like that for so, a little bit. So... Now, when we We're read freaking out. when we read the first review and then this review one after another, it's very obvious Tony Chicago did not write the second review. We were we were not so sure the first time because we, it had been three years for us. So yeah. We're like, <laughs> we've grown up in three years. Maybe fucking Tony Chicago has. I don't fucking know. Yeah, we were pretty like we were not sure if this was real. Like we were con we were confused. Like. Like just straight out confused because it had been so long since we had read Tony Chicago stuff that we had no idea really what was happening. 
Uh, and and then I just like I was like, okay, well, here's a way that we can figure this out. Yeah, we, we can ju- <laughs> we can just copy some of the text and Google search it and see what happens. And so we came across the fucking official GameSpot review <laughs> of of this game of the same game. Skipping the first two paragraphs. Hold on, it's loading still. Who he didn't want to be caught. He didn't want to be caught. He wanted this key, so he skipped the first two paragraphs. And here's the here's here's. God damn it, man! Gamespot is chugging. Um. Barry, what is? The impact of this is lost in the chug. So what what are you what's what are you going on about? I'm trying to load this fucking text review and it's not working. Okay. Regardless of whether you'd play last year's game, you'd do well to check out UFC 2010's tutorial mode before jumping into the octagon. He just copied like the middle three the middle three <laughs> paragraphs of the official game. Not like the opening or the closing. Depending on your playstyle, the most significant change during the fights is that the octagon itself now comes into play. When your opponent in a clinch and force him up against one of the cages, it becomes harder for him to defend it. It's, we get it. It like I do, and then that was in twenty. So he took a three-year break, and posted <laughs> a review, and then nothing since then. Like yeah. he came back just to plagiarize <laughs> a fucking review. It's been four years. Like we got he, so excited because that was only like a couple weeks old at the time, and yeah. and like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, and we, I think, learned by looking at his Facebook or or something that he had like started doing like MMA fights or something. Yeah, he is now an official or now, oh now he's a professional MMA Something fighter, happens. right? He, he is a pro he's in a pro, the pro circuit. Hold on, I'm gonna have to I just closed the the page. I'm gonna reopen it and, and read some of his blog. He also posted that UFC review to gamedogs.com. Wait, what? what? <laughs> Wait, Game what? dogs? Game dogs? Yes. Wait, does he have an? Does he have a fucking review presence on Game Dogs? <laughs> I don't know, cause like apparently on this website, there's like no username, so it's not attached to Tony Chicago, but like it's that same. But who else would do that? Review, oh, but with wait. the same title and wait. the same score. Hang on, though, like. If it's just the GameSpot review text, couldn't it have been anybody that copied that onto it Game Dogs? Could have been anybody. Mm-hmm. Reputable the same game title, community it? site. Oh, it's the same. Oh, it's it's Tony it's Chicago's the same title. title. It's the same oh, title. Okay. Yeah. Wait, but that I think maybe that title. No, 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 no. You're right. That title I think was probably another sentence from the GameSpot review. No, but if like taking that specific piece is yeah. Now the I think the important part. Uh, an important part to frame our discovery and and amazement and shock about the idea that Tony Chicago might possibly have written that well-written piece uh, was that we discovered it like I, we were in my mom's living room and my mom was there and she just saw us flipping our like <laughs> literally yeah. flipping the fuck out about we, this like dumbass review from nobody that we yeah, were reading because well, she was like so confused I, I also i remembered another part of it and this might have only been me this might have not been you might have not been feeling the same thing but like i had this thing in my head also where like was he faking it was he doing like was it the longest <laughs> oh. fucking bit of all time like was there another keep out there Doing a fucking the longest con for the lowest payoff <laughs> of all time, like, and, and I was like, was it a joke? Is it, is this the reveal of the joke? Like, I had, I was so blown away by the idea that this all could have been a perfectly orchestrated goof. Um, a a, a joke for an audience of two. Yeah, well, an audience of more than two now, obviously. Yeah, clearly. an audience of. Uh, 220 plus yeah i feel very strongly about propagating the legend of tony chicago yeah tony i feel like to, yeah i feel like he is the last cowboy <laughs> <laughs> uh, um he he's a man who now has the audience he deserves yes absolutely um 
<laughs> I'm 18 as of September 15th, 2011. I'm a pro fighter now and trainer. Still play a lot of video games from time to time. I got a PS, I got an PS3, Xbox 360, and PS2, PS1, and GameCube, and PSP, and laptop. Want to? <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, that reminds like now I remember he will just list shit. He just like, loves to list shit. He'll just start <laughs> writing something like I like music, blah blah music, and then we'll just literally be like, here are some bands I like, and list like forty bands. He just like loves Guns to... and Roses, Rolling Stones. Yeah. Um. I got a, I got in PS3, Xbox 360, and PS2, PS1, and GameCube, and PSP, and laptop. Want to possibly <laughs> get a Wii? Not sure when, though. <laughs> I fuck. That is a perfect sentence. <laughs> I have it one more time, just for me. <laughs> I got in PS3, Xbox 360, and PS2, PS1, and GameCube, and PSP, and laptop. <laughs> I didn't notice how many times you said and. And like, but he, he, he started without the ands, and then started them, and then took a break, and then started it. Like, I got in PS3, Xbox 360, and PS2, PS1, and GameCube, and PSP, and laptop. Want to possibly get a Wii, not sure when, though. <laughs> also, my favorite games still are Metal, Metal, Metal Gear Metal games. Metal Gear Solid. Most of them yeah. gotten three through fours of them currently. Also, Dead to Rights, Ninja Gaiden, Madden NFL, UFC games, Resident Evil, and Silent Hill. Most of the games, Shenmue, still, 1 and 2, Star Wars, and, like, more this, listing shit. This is what you say with games. <laughs> I love this. I love Tony Chicago. I fucking... I fucking love this so much. Can I tell you that nothing makes me happier than to hear that Tony Chicago likes both Silent Hill and Shenmue? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, uh, uh, also, my favorite games are still Metal Gear games. Most of them gotten three-fourths of them currently. Also, <laughs> Dead to Rights, Madden NFL, UFC games, Resident Evil, and Silent Hill. Most of them games, Shenmue, still 1-2 Star Wars, and The Old Republic, and Knights of the Old Republic, 1-2. and two. Also, GTA, True Crime, Streets of LA, what and New York fuck? City. And, and also the new game when it comes out, Gears of War series. He literally just <laughs> did what I said. He was like, he, yeah. my favorite games are still, and then every game ever made. <laughs> also, add me on Facebook, guys. He, did, he said fucking dead to rights like who needs to add dead to rights to their list of very favorite early games? on in the list like it went it went metal gear games then dead to rights <laughs> ninja gaiden madden nfl ufc games resident evils and silent hill most of them games shenmue still one to two star wars the old republic and knights of the republic one and two also gta true crime streets of la and new york and also the new game when it comes out gears of war series um and then it goes on to to give his facebook um and his gamer tag. Oh, he got a new fucking gamer tag. He what? has Godfather, what? Godfather Jr. 1993. Great. Godfather Jr. Perfect. Yeah. Um, uh, PSN. Cr Cranberm says, I'm dying over here. Uh, okay. God, I fucking. Okay. Oh my God. This is all stuff that I forgot. And how could I have forgotten this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to start from the, par from the beginning of the paragraph. Okay. Also, add me on Facebook, guys. Anthony Dinatale. I got two accounts, mainly the one you can add me, and my Xbox 360 gamer tag is The Godfather Jr. 1993. PSN, The Godfather Jr. Also, stats. Six <laughs> feet, 165. Yep, he has stats. <laughs> Six feet, 165. Workout got my blue belt in Jiu-Jitsu as of 2011 on the Canadian team in wrestling. And... <laughs> A also, an up-and-coming uh, Muay Thai fighter, haven't lost pro, and... Haven't oh ha haven't lost comma pro oh dude if this guy fucking got good enough to be in the UFC like if I could fucking follow Tony Chicago in the UFC <laughs> as Tony Chicago oh in my the god UFC no game. if Tony <laughs> Chicago was in a video game my life would literally be complete if you but here's the thing <laughs> I would move okay. to the mountains and have nothing but a copy I of it I think you're forgetting a the UFC part game. of the story that we'll get to We're, okay okay. Uh, and I'm 2-0 in MMA and fighting in a month and a half in the States. Also, trying to do a comeback in football. Playing quarterback, gonna gonna be in sick shape for June also. also fought sick shape for sick June. Sick shape for June. Also fought amateur boxing and won my decision only once fought. Just letting you guys know, add comment on me. These things, please. Thank you. God bless. Um, God bless. <laughs> God bless. Oh, Tony. Oh, Tony. <laughs> oh, Tony. Um, do you remember this guy's Facebook? No. You don't remember looking at his pictures? No. And going, oh, God. <laughs> I think this might have been something you did in your own, because I don't remember any of this. Oh, my. I am shocked that you don't know. You don't have the part of this where where I found Tony Chicago on Twitter. First oh, wait. Of all, I, 
Wait, on Twitter? On oh, no, not Twitter. On Facebook. Oh, okay. Sorry. I would love oh, I would oh, love God. a Godfather Jr. If Twitter. I could just fucking plug Tony <laughs> Chicago's brain straight oh my God. into my veins like that. Oh my god. I don't even know. Did he fucking remove his pictures? <gasps> Oh, oh no. I think I remember seeing a picture of Tony Chicago. He was like really like weird and scrawny looking, right? He's really weird, really squa- scrawny. Can, and we, can we read like a blog post from like back in the day? Yeah, like, you talking about like Tony Chicago? Yeah, yeah, I can't believe that. Let's he has... fucking read the blog posts about him <laughs> getting the girl pregnant. I will say, that... we, no, I have to use Wayback Machine for that, and it's a whole. Big, it's oh, a whole really? Video. Yeah, he deleted well, that. He deleted sorry, that after the. I can read sorry, the apology. Can you not use the Wayback Machine? I like, know. I, it's not. Are a, you busy? It's not. The interesting one is the apology like that's the one well, we should read okay then yeah fine um i will say that i know that this is the right anthony dinatale who who deleted all his photos because the only photo is a is a blank is a ba- is a blank uh like background photo and then the profile picture is a comparison between clean cut and scruffy uh uh sna- solid snake. a fucking course i was just like sitting there on the edge of my <laughs> seat like say Please say Solid Snake. Yeah, it's Solid Please Snake. fucking say Solid he Snake. He loves Metal Gear. He wait, wait, it. let me see those two pictures. There's only, it's one picture. It's like a... <sighs> okay. it, and it, it's pointing and says yeah. clean. Pointing clean, and then there's something like that, where like in the other one, but it's cropped out. And I can't click on it. Um, should I add him as a friend? Ugh. Yes. I, yeah. If we're not Tony Chicago's friends, nobody is. Friend request sent. <laughs> Okay. Um, God, Tony Chicago, you will live on forever. May you, may you never, may, may you never perish from our hearts and minds. God, if, if I seriously, if I could put on my television and watch Tony Chicago fight, lock in Mortal Kombat with another human being, like life complete. Um. All right, here we go. Here we go, meaning I'm, go- I'm back on GameSpot. Not here we go, as in I have the blog ready. How's this game, though, Kyle? Uh, I'm good. I realized the, the mistake I was making in that weird torture kill room that killed me twice. I realized I was not prepared to enter that room, and I shan't be going back <coughs> until I have the necessary uh, items. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Fuck your shit. Oh. Um, God, it would fucking make my entire life for a GameSpot <coughs> update from Tony Chicago. Oh my God! <sighs> if only. Oh, so here's 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 just I'm not gonna read all these because I'll maybe read a couple. Uh, this yeah, is, you're gonna read. <laughs> no, 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 this, this is just a list. This is music and artist I like. Uh-huh. Telling them all. This is exa- telling them <laughs> all. Telling this is them exactly all. what I was talking about. <laughs> this is not an order. Just to tell you, <laughs> like, okay, Van Halen, Alice in Change, Event Sevenfold, April Wine, Atreyu, Lamb of God, ACDC, Blink One Eighty Two, Boston, Bullet for <laughs> My Valentine, Disturbed, Evanescence, Foo Fighters, Godsmack, <laughs> Green Day, Guns N' Roses. Headley, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, Kiss, Corn, Linkin Park, Marilyn, Man- Marilyn Manson, Metallica, Motorhead, Nickelback, Nine Inch Nails, Ozzy Osbourne. Like, like, I love the idea of him like hitting enter and then being like, hmm, okay, enter, huh? What is it? Pantera, Rage Against the Machine, Rob Zombie, Rolling Stones, Seether, uh, Day, uh, Three Day Grace, System of a Down, Eminem, Fifty Cent. Another <coughs> another thing I love about Tony Chicago, like. Yeah? It's not a. It's not the worst list ever. It's not. <laughs> it's got some clunkers on there, but all in all, I agree with a lot of that. ZZ list. Top, ABBA, Aerosmith, two like, words, AFI. Tony Chicago not afraid to say he loves ABBA. No, not afraid. Yeah. Also not afraid to say he loves some forty one. <laughs> um. The um. The. Do you want? Do you want like another hidden list the, in a the par- heart monitor paper scrawl? Here is uh, enthralling. I love me. it. I think it's I can't really, stop really looking good. at it. The fucking ticker tape. Fine, fine. I'm fine. fine. Um, I'm back. Had to catch up in school and crap. Also, tell you about my Christmas, December twenty eighth, two thousand seven. <laughs> 
Yeah, before my grade was starting to slip a bit, it went a bit low. My parents said I can't play very many games and go on the computer until my grades get better. So yeah, good to be back on GameSpot. Also, for Christmas, I got an 8-gig MP3 phone, 80-gig iPod, iPod, Guitar Hero 1 and 2, and Rock Band, and Halo 3. Also had a great super for Christmas dinner. Yeah, was you... You can tell this is like 2008 or 9 or whatever because he got an a 8 gig MP3 phone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 80 gig and an 80 gig iPod. Nice. And Guitar Hero 1 and 2 and Rock Band. Like, that seems like a fucking. <laughs> that seems like a lie. He knew what he wanted. Yeah, yeah I whatever. guess. Like, you think he got. He got a Guitar Hero 1 and 2 and Rock Band for the same. Maybe Christmas? he got, like, maybe he got one of them. It was a gift. And, like, the other two he bought with store credit, so he's just like, fuck it, I want all of this. Oh, Whatever, Guitar remember? Hero 1 and 2 and Rock Band are the three music games to have, so Do you remember he his nailed it. His, 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 the, his football arc? I, I mean, I remember he plays football. That's what you're asking me. He wrote, like, this very triumphant, like, bittersweet arc on his football thing. I'm gonna, let me try to find... How come we're not reading the pregnant thing? I'm, I'm, I'm strong back I've to solved it. the puzzle. Um. All right. He he mentioned football briefly in that yeah. first post. Yeah. He um, was like, "I'm gonna make a comeback." To a it. comeback, right? A comeback from his his high school football career. Um. Oh. I didn't realize there was a history there. I'm anticipating this. Oh, this is a good ending. This is a this is this is the this is the ending to the football stuff. But it had such a good ending that I'm just gonna read it now because who cares? He oh he was fighting he was. Our last football game was a battle with a great rival. Time to tell you about it. What? This is the second to last of his football things. First of all, it was a battle. Yes, I said that. But it was a battle of will mostly. It was more of a street football battle. It was like whoever wanted to win more won. Oh, uh, Win more. We won by a three point. We made the three point kick. It was from about thirty yards, pretty far from a fourteen year old person to kick. Yeah, me and my team block it, and we were in the playoffs. But the wild card and just barely made. Well, I remember one touchdown, and in the first one first half and block two. This is oh, this is incomprehensible. <laughs> This is like the worst he's ever been. <laughs> he's like, it's like, can't imagine like he's all hopped up on football. He's like, you can't even think like, that was funny. there was so, like a touchdown and it was like a street fight. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> I have to read the beginning again because he keeps clarifying on what it was. <laughs> Our last football game was a battle with a great rival. Time to tell you about it. First of all, it was a battle. Yes, I said that, but it was a battle of will mostly. It was more of a street football battle. It was like whoever won wanted to win more it was like whoever wanted to win more we won by a three point we made the three point kick it was from about 30 yards pretty far from a 14 year old person to kick yeah me and my team block it and we're in the playoffs but in the wild card and just barely made it well i made one touchdown in the first half and block for two touchdowns it was by far our great game yet but the answer is are we ready to say to battle the number one team in the league or some team that good only time we will see our first is on Saturday, we're versus a team that beat us before, but this year we are ready to win or lose. Only time will tell. Oh, yeah, the score is 42 to 45. We won that game. <sighs> so that, that was the setup to this that I had to read just because the last sentence is really good. And it kind of sad. Last football game and to tell you how it went. Well, we lost 24 to 36 to a team that beat us 42 nothing before, and also they shut us out for five years in a row. Well, we may have lost... But me and the other members of the team think of each other as champ has champions. We went down, has war. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> me, the, me and the other members of the team think of each other as champions. We went down, has warriors, or something like that, and we gave them... He said has twice instead of <laughs> as. Yeah. And we gave them a good fight, so now I'm going to try and focus a bit more on video games and friends and a girl that I'm dating so far... Uh, so far yet, remember the name, my name, yeah, see you, see you guys around, <laughs> we'll always remember the name, yeah, your name, Tony Chicago, see you around. Oh, with that note, uh, can we take the stream down for a second? Yeah, yeah.